Morning fellas, this is Ace here. Um, this is our microwave, and our microwave has taken a turn for the worst. And I've been working on some diagnostics trying to figure out what's going on, and I'm able to trace it to this high power relay right here. I'm going to take that board out and see if I can't replace just the relay. I've actually replaced this board before and so if I ruin it it doesn't matter it's only an $18 board but if I can just salvage um, the board and replace the relay that's what we're gonna try to do today so stay tuned okay so the boards out um, all the specs for this relay are on the side you can't read them so I'm gonna try to desolder this and uh, pry these contacts off so let's try to do that There it is. There's our specs. All right, there's our specs, and this is, or it does say, 30 volts DC at 16 amps, so I can test it DC, no problem. And I just punched the JQX-62F in, and they're between uh, two and six dollars. So um, I'm gonna test this thing before I actually order one, make sure that this is the problem. But there's no pin out, and it doesn't actually say exactly what it is, or how it's pinned out. I wonder if I could test this DC. Put a DC power supply up to it and see if I can get it to operate. Would not be hard to take apart, maybe I'll just try to snap it apart here. Okay, so there's our relay, and I have it hooked up to a DC power supply. And when I energize it, you can hear and feel it click within the relay. It does click. But when I check the contacts on my meter, I don't get anything. So, I'll bump up the resistance and see... If I can get, whoops, if I can get a little continuity. Oh, that's a big help. Let's try 200K, see what we get. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Time to take the thing apart. I'm going to poke at it with a razor blade and just see if maybe I can pry it apart without breaking it farther and we can see what's going on in there. And without cutting myself. Or just break these little contacts or clips. I suppose that works. I had to do that before once and I just glued, glued the relay back together. It worked just fine. Now these pins down here, I'm not sure how those are exactly connected, and I might it might not come apart because it's re resin together or something, glued. Try with some pliers. No, it pretty much broke it. Ooh la la. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Those burnt contacts. Da da da. Sweet. I shall order some more of those. But yeah, those connectors go all the way through. And that's why I wasn't able just to slide it on out. But cool. Now we know what the problem was. Oh, you can actually see inside the case. I don't know if the camera can see that, but it looks quite burnt in there. And it looks like it has been smoking and has gotten hot. So that would explain it. Get to finish up the microwave repair. That's interesting. Look at that. 
there's our relay. Awesome. I want to run a test on this first just because I can. Let's just make sure it works before I put all this stuff back together. Okay, power on. Okay. All right, we got continuity. Great. Now I can put it back in that board. Okay, there we go. Relay is in. Let's go put it in the microwave and test her out. Okay, so now I got the control board in and all hooked up and we're ready to test it. Um, you can hear a, a distinct difference when you power it on from before if the transformer and I believe it's called the magnetron um, are both functioning. So here we go. And it's that hum that you're looking for. It works. All right, very happy about that. So one thing that I wanted to do is I wasn't able to get into it in the first part of the video is you know how did I find out that that relay was the problem and like I said I don't have a whole lot of experience with AC appliances or troubleshooting them but for the most part it seems to be really simple um, I've made quite a few small repairs such as that and that replaced those but for the most part I just start tracing power you know, and then I check all the safety switches and find out what has power and what doesn't have power and where it's supposed to be coming from. And uh, one thing that I was able to do, I knew that I had to replace this board. And so I was like, well, I'm going to try to get that component first. But if I'm going to have to replace the board, I'm actually going to try to jump it and see if that will correct our problem. And so I just stuck a screwdriver in between there and then started it and it all fired in and went. So we were having power coming in, but power was not coming out. Um, so just some simple troubleshooting with a multimeter is really all that I did, and it seems to be quite simple. So I think that's it for this repair. Um, if you guys have any questions or advice when it comes to this kind of stuff, I would like to hear about it, so please leave me a comment, leave me a like, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.